In the previous video in this series, we overviewed the system coupling specific settings in CFX and Mechanical for a fluid structure interaction. In this video, part 2, we'll set up system coupling and solve the coupled analysis. Now that the structural and fluid systems are set up, we will couple the two simulations using system coupling. First, enter the analysis settings. System coupling's end time is 10 seconds, the duration of the transient analysis. This number must be less than or equal to mechanical step end time. It overrides the number of time steps in CFX. System coupling's step size is the time step for the coupled analysis. CFX will use this time step size and, since substepping was disabled in mechanical, mechanical will also use this time step size. By default, a maximum of 5 coupling iterations can occur within each coupling step. We'll use the default value which, for this simulation, will allow for good convergence of the physics solutions within each time step. Next, create data transfer specifications. From the list of the structural and fluid regions, select the surfaces that will be transferring data. Right-click to create both data transfers. There is a specification for the transfer of force data from the fluid solver to the structural solver. There is also a specification for the transfer of displacement data from the structural solver to the fluid solver. Before solving, it is good practice to ensure that restart data is being recorded. A coupled analysis has a lot of systems interacting, and it's good to be able to restart if needed. Restart data is controlled here in system coupling and should specify the frequency at which backup points are needed. Restart data for post-processing is requested in CFX and Mechanical. Updating the system coupling solution will start both CFX and mechanical solution processes, both of which you can watch solve here. The solution processes, as well as the data transfers, are controlled by system coupling. The simulation has ended. The system coupling log file is here. For all coupled analyses, it's important to check the mapping summary at the top of this file to determine the quality of the data transfers between the interfaces in the mechanical and CFX simulations. Each coupling step is listed with details about its coupling iteration. The coupling iterations in each coupling step continue until CFX, mechanical, and both of the data transfers have converged, or until the maximum number of coupling iterations per coupling step is reached. Back in the project schematic, connecting the structural solution to the fluid solution allows CFD post to display both the fluid and structural results. Here's a look at an animation of the final results. In this animation, plotted results show the pressure contour in the fluid domain and the von Mises stress on the plate in the structural domain. We have finished the coupled analysis. In part 1, we reviewed the settings specific to a coupled analysis in mechanical and CFX. In part 2, we set up system coupling and solved the coupled analysis. This concludes this demonstration, overviewing the procedure for setting up a coupled analysis using CFX, mechanical, and system coupling.